with this idea along with a few key members um, like Hassan Hijiri of Melja, which is the first hub in Bahrain that supports local and emerging designers. So it's a space that does primarily three things. Um, gets the artists to work together and collaborate, showcases their, their artwork and gets them to network. It all starts with a space and so when you have a space where um, people can come and have an interesting discussion and the, the, the purpose of the space itself is a bit different than what we have before, then suddenly you have new opportunities and new possibilities for artists. And to have a place or like a space where I can invite these artists to come down uh, and then I can actually supervise them as well and then we collab on, 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 on a track, it would be, it, it would be amazing. That's, that's good to hear. <laughs> so there are people taking initiative to do things with their peers, to collaborate with others outside of institutions and outside of like, let's say, the government, you know? So it's really allowing people to take charge and take things into their own hands to develop and to create. Having lived in Amwaj for a long time, I do find it's um, somewhere that is nice and neutral, that um, all of the community in Bahrain live here from all over the world. And I thoroughly enjoy the, the fact that it is such a mixed community uh, with no reference to any particular bias at all. And I think setting up such a venue in such a location gives us an opportunity to appeal to everyone. So why don't you do here, just do a small one here that can like be directed here to be say this side of the... See the difference when yeah. the light shoots on the painting? We have just to turns it. At the start what we tried to do is we, we always had the idea of like the refuge being like a bird's wing landing on the building and kind of covering it. So almost like protecting like a refuge shelter. So I think Bahrain is the, is, it's the perfect spot. It's like a, it, it will probably be become that Malja will help Bahrain to put Bahrain on a, a culturally as a centre point in the GCC countries for arts and emerging artists. So I'm developing uh, one of the sides of the building for the landscape architectural treatment. It's going to be a really important art piece for the space and it's going to be changeable, so different artists will go there. We wanted to introduce upcycling and encourage it as well. We, we tried to see ideas, or to look for ideas that are easy to do and not very cost-effective. So um, we got this idea of doing seats out of plastic crates. I'm using a lot of recycled stuff. Um, get my inspiration from uh, the street. I can show people how, how could I use a car, a whole car, to, to do furniture from it. The, the room is really designed so that there's not much time between walking into the room and making music. So we got some special studio monitors that uh, we're setting up exactly right. So there's a sweet spot right behind the computer screen. The exhibition specifically is going to have a, a major focus on digital art that is shared through uh, social media or social applications. So we're actually really interested to see how creators are creating content, visual content, and also you know their theories, their processes, and how they're sharing that on different platforms like Instagram, Facebook, different social media platforms. Uh, I was, first of all, I was thrilled by the logo because of uh, the Kufi element in it, which is uh, my favorite form of calligraphy as well. I framed it uh, with um, the Routra and also with the Bani Jamra fabric. It starts by tying 1,260 threads. Getting it right, okay, yeah. <laughs> Regionally, there's nothing like it. There is no creative space that brings together so many different mediums and creative outlets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>it allows for much more freedom when it comes to providing programs, providing platforms, 
and getting people involved. Melja doesn't have a set shape or form. It could, you know, pop up in a house in Maharag. It could, you know, pop up in a building, you know, on the, like the 30th floor with this gorgeous view. It doesn't really matter uh, in what shape or form it takes. It just matters that the agenda is there to serve a higher purpose. The whole space, it felt like it's, it's a malja. It's like, it's a literal translation of a malja. It's a place where people can meet, and people can be themselves, people can, it's like a shelter for everyone. Something like Melja um, could potentially be um, a space where artists can collaborate with the space itself to, to develop new, new things and, and that's something that I, I would like to see personally. To just be there and like, it doesn't have to be a, us working, even brainstorming, to be in, in the space and the environment where you can actually get inspired. This building represents the future for a community that hasn't quite had a chance to uh, enjoy it yet. Bahrain is known as a liberal society, a society that is um, pushing boundaries, and I think this could be one other stepping stone towards um, helping the young. I think us, Lighting, we were just a small cell that participated in making that baby. The, the sound people, you guys, the crew, so it was everybody. And then now we see the baby coming out and of course we forgot about all the, you know, the bad days and the stuff. Hopefully when I come back in a year, this will be something very cool. Malja is honey to a bee.